crunchy peppermint dark chocolate. In this video, we're going to be taste testing and reviewing the Montezuma peppermint dark chocolate moonies to find out if they're a good option for anyone doing low carb keto this Christmas or best avoided. Hi there, John here. Welcome to my low carb life and welcome back to Vlogmas. So it's Christmas and you're probably going to want some kind of treats this Christmas. So I've been out and I've found a product that you may want to consider. There's the Montezuma Peppermint Dark Chocolate Half Moonies. Now this product I picked up from Tesco's during my vlog the other day when I did a vlog around Tesco's for the Christmas aisle. And it cost me £3. You can't get this version online at the moment, but you can get other versions here in the UK. On Amazon for £3.99 you can get a orange and mandarin flavour which I actually reviewed last year and I'll put a link to that in the description below and also you can get a salted caramel one online which I've been seeking out the salted caramel one for a long time I'm not be able to get it so I may put an order in for that for myself at some point in the future as far as America is concerned Montezuma is available there but I couldn't find this particular product over there in the States on any websites so if you're in America have you tried Montezuma chocolate let me know in the comments below would you recommend it or have you not heard of it? Okay, so first off we're doing the nutritional and ingredient information, then we'll move on to the taste test. Okay, let's go to the ingredients first. So looking at the back here, we've got ingredients, they're not looking too bad to be honest. We've got dark chocolate compromising 95% and then we've got cocoa mass, sugar, cocoa butter, emulsifier, which is in there I believe to find ingredients together. I had a quick look online to find what it was. Also soy lectine. Soy lectin isn't that great, it can give you stomach problems, it's not really keto friendly but it is there, what can you do about it? And also we've got vanilla extract and then the sugar content is coming at 5% which is pretty small so it's not too bad and also peppermint oil. So yeah, those are the ingredients, they're looking pretty much okay and then we can now move on to have a look at the nutritional values. So the nutritional values listed on the back are down at 100 grams. Well, we've got a packet here of 120 grams so I'm going to have to do some maths and work out what value it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the video, I'm going to take all these out, count them and I'll be back in a tick. Okay so I've done the counting and we've got 23 bumps in here. So I've done the nutritional calculation and this is how it stacks up. It's coming at 2 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fat and 0.5 grams of protein. So yeah per bump that's looking pretty good. And this is what they look like. There we go, a dark chocolate bump. And just before we do the taste test, if you are getting value out of this video, why not give it a like? And also, if you're not currently subscribed and happy to watch them, why not consider subscribing to the channel for more keto and low carb reviews, tips, and information to take you lead your best low carb life in the future? And also, don't forget to turn notifications on so you never miss something over from me. Okay, so let's move on to the taste test. And I'll say this is what it looks like. So there you go. And yeah, let's do a taste test and tell you what I think. Yeah, well, first of all, it's crunchy, as it's advertised. The peppermint flavour is pretty strong. You can tell the dark chocolate is pretty dark, and the peppermint flavour kind of cuts into that and sort of complements the dark chocolate. And it's pretty nice, really. That's what it looks like. That's what the other half looks like when it's bitted into two. I'll just have the second half of those to give you a second opinion, and then I'll tell you what I think after that. I'm tempted to say peppermint's a bit strong, but I think that's kind of needed though, because it sort of cuts through the dark chocolate as I said a minute ago. And the combination, I mean, it goes pretty well together actually. I think when I finish the video, I might be having another one. So yeah, do I recommend this product? Well, I think for a Christmas treat, if I'm doing low carb or keto, yeah, I think I would recommend it. So it's not too expensive. The carb content is pretty good. Ingredients, yeah, a couple of questionable things, but by general, standards of some other chocolates out on the market. Not that bad at all really. So yeah, I think it's one I would recommend. If you're safe in the UK, if you're going for about £3 Tesco's, you can get £3.99 on Amazon, although you can't get that flavour on Amazon. It's just the salted caramel, which I will track down one day. I might even put an order on Amazon myself. And also the dark chocolate and orange ones I've already tried and reviewed on my channel this time last year. 
So that's it for this time. So if you liked this video, why not give it a like? If you disliked it, feel free to dislike it. I think you still can. And if you're not currently subscribed and happy to be watching, why not consider subscribing? More videos coming from me in the future to help you lead your best low carb life. We have reviews, tips, and information on the channel. So yeah, hit that subscribe button and come back for more videos. And don't forget to turn your notifications on. That's it for this time. So until next time, I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers. Bye now. Thank you.